I was born and raised here in Raleigh. Both my parents instilled the gospel in us, instilled a love for people, but also a love for Christ. They had, I guess, a compassion for everybody. So it really, really resonated with me how to care for people, how to love people, how to just do what you can for people. But most of all, they, Christ was centered in our life. Christ was centered in their home. I reached a crossroads in my life. I was in high school. I gave my heart, I got converted, got my sins forgiven and got the Holy Spirit in my heart and got sanctified at camp meeting. And from then on, I made that decision to follow Christ. Jesus talks about being the vine and, and we are the branches. And he talks about pruning us that we may bear forth more fruit. So I think, yes, I, I had that relationship with God at that time and, and knew from a shadow of doubt that the Spirit of God was in my heart and I was living for Him. But I think there was times in, in different points in my life where God really just worked with my heart and worked with me and said, Matt, I want more from you. Do you want to give me more? And I said, yes, I do. And He blessed me for that. I went into prayer like, you know, Lord, what, what do you want me to do? Um, what is it that you need me to do? I, I want to reach the lost. and. He's like, Matt, I want you to go to the prison. And so the Lord opened the door. God showed up every time. I think some of the best meetings I've had, no one will really ever you know, know about but those men. But you see a sense of people that were outcast. And these men were 10 plus years in. You couldn't, it wasn't like a small infraction. Like you, you had to, either these were life sentences or, or death row. But man, we had Bible studies in there that I remember. I can't quit thinking about where God just touched men's hearts. When God opens doors, you know, do we answer? Do we listen? And he's going he's gonna to provide. If he's telling us to do something, yes, it's out of our comfort zone. Yes, it's uncomfortable. Yes, it's going to test our faith. But that's the only way we can grow. And that's the only way we can draw closer to him if we just surrender. And I think that's the mindset, too, is like, are we... Are we all in? And if we are, are we asking God? And He will give us direction. It's such a joy to be a part of the local church and, and to be mission-minded together as one stick in God's hand. We've had opportunity to serve in an underprivileged community for the past five years. And out of that, the Lord has just blessed our church. The beauty of it is you look at Jesus and you say, what is church? Well, you know, is Jesus to the world. He loved everybody. We're required to go out and find those people and to help those people, wherever they may be, whoever they may be, whatever ethnicity, whatever social status they come from, and just be like, you know, God loves you. But it's just, it's a sense of belonging, just to be a part of the community of believers, of like-minded believers, to encourage one another, and just to be a family.